My name is Yolan von Herwal. Yeah, I know it's a long name, and I'm, I'll be the moderator. Um, so I'm going to talk you through this day and a half, <coughs> so that you all learn and you all have a space, and um, we come away with all the aims and objectives um, we set out to uh, for it to happen. Just a little bit about welcome. There is one more speaker here. Yeah. Um, we let me tell you a little bit about me because I'm not from this region. Um, I am Dutch. I come from Holland, but I live in the United Kingdom. Um, I have been a fundraiser for almost 20 years now. When I started out as a fundraiser, this is in Amsterdam, about like 18 years ago. HIV and AIDS in Amsterdam was really, really scary because nobody knew what it was and people, my friends, were ill or dying. And that's the way I became a fundraiser because I knew that money will make things happen. Money in itself can never be an aim. It makes things happen, doesn't it? That's the beauty of money. So from there onwards, I moved to women's um, rights organization, human rights organization, and health charities. And 10 years ago, I moved with my partner um, to the United Kingdom, and I live there now. The good thing about that is that I have some experience from Holland, some experience from the United Kingdom. And since I've been in the United Kingdom, I've worked internationally and also in this region. So I have some examples and some experience. But at the same time, I'm very aware that I'm not from this region. So if there's anything I have not picked up on, or that's not right for your country, for your organization, in your case, then please highlight that. It's very important that we all understand what we're talking about. Um, the same with some terms and jargon people might use. You might think everybody knows what direct marketing is, but at the same time people will think, so what actually is that? If you're unsure, please ask, please ask. What we do not want, what we do not want is you to go away from these meetings here in Budapest and think, I'm not sure what happened actually. I saw the city and nice food, some nice people, but that's it. We do not want you to go away like that. We would love you to go away with a head full of, brimming full of ideas, to take them home to your organization, to your country, and start implementing them. So please be part of it. Join in, ask, tell us your stories, tell us your experiences, and that will make it happen. So let's have a show of hands. Who is a fundraiser here? Who would call themselves, I'm a fundraiser? Who has done some fundraising, but actually is not a fundraiser? Good. Who has never done any fundraiser and wouldn't even dream of calling themselves a fundraiser? <laughs> Good. See, that's the level of experience. So if you're nervous about talking, remember there might always be somebody who doesn't even, hasn't even done what you've done. So again, be part of it. Just a few things. Um, you know, I know, but I don't know if you, when you grew up, what did you say to your parents? Mum, I want to be a butcher. Or Dad, I want to be a policeman. Did any of you think, Mum, I want to be a fundraiser? <laughs> no, you don't, do you? My mother, bless her, still thinks I'm begging on the street <laughs> for money. Yes, I keep explaining, Mum, it's a real profession. No, she thinks I'm begging on the street for money. Yes, yes, she really believes in something, but she's begging for money. This is a real profession, a real profession. And the thing is, it's so very true what you both said, because we need to create a family, a community of fundraisers, a place where we can all share things, where we, only we will understand how it feels when the donor says no. When I started out at the Ace Fonds, people, I would ring people, and they would say no. And I'd ring people, and they'd say no. And they'd ring people, say no. And by that time, I had a real rant with my colleague. Fucking hell. 
and they're not doing people and say no. Doing people and say no. That's what fundraisers do. They hear a lot of no's. So only another fundraiser will understand. You know, I had such a rotten day. Everybody said no to me. Your partner will understand, your friend, but only a fundraiser will understand. That's horrible. That is just horrible. So that's why we need very much to create this family community of fundraising. Because if we all start doing it, it will be in, like an infection, wouldn't it? But in a positive way. We will all get, like, buzzing. Before we start all the presentations, I've got something here for you. <laughs> but these are bells. What I'd like you to do is, after all, we're here together just to gather ideas and something you can take home. And you'll hear lots and lots of ideas, but if you think something sounds like a very, very good idea, just ring the bell so we don't have to interrupt anything, but like, dang, that's a good idea. I can use it, for instance. So ring the bell, and then I'll write it down here. And then tomorrow <coughs> afternoon, or tomorrow morning, at the end of the morning, we'll go through it. And then hopefully you'll go home and leave this door tomorrow, and thinking, I've got at least five ideas I can do. 